Who's starting our day out right in Colombia? All right, welcome back to video number two. We are filthy, we are dirty, we are smelly, we are God, glad. we are exhausted. So we left where we were staying to get to Bogota this morning at 2 a.m. Since like yesterday. We drove six and a half hours from where we were to Bogota to catch a flight to get to this part, Caribbean coastal side of Colombia. Then it said it was an hour and a half drive <laughs> from the airport. It was a four hour drive. Finally, we got there and it is amazing. Look at this. Look at this. We're going to show you our Airbnb. And our place is so nice and the host is so nice. And he's like, if you want to order pizza, <laughs> Order pizza in the jungle? Get out of here. This is probably the best air well this is the best Airbnb I've stayed in, but probably also the best like hotel stay eco lodge thing. Guys, it is gorgeous here. Look at this. Oh, it's so sunny. I love the plants. If I could build my own house, this is what it would look like. That's beautiful. Let's turn it around and show you. Got some hummingbird plants, butterfly plants. on like a banana plantation. Look. It's gorgeous. It is, it's so open. There's a beautiful breeze. It just goes through. Guys, there's an air fryer. I'm so excited. The washer, all this stuff. Look at this. It is gorgeous. Look at that sexy, sexy man right there. Bug bites. <laughs> just the bug bites. We got two hammocks. Finally, a water with filter. I'm so happy. This 280. Look at this deck. Do you know how much it tanning naked I could do. You gotta take the stairs, obviously, but they're outside. Who cares? It's beautiful. Okay, here, just some little bat friends. Nice little like balcony thing. Banana trees. Look at, oh my God. We already messed up the bed, so I had to remake it and wasn't great for her. Look at the view from the bed. Toilette with a view. <laughs> nice outdoor shower with a view. Look, a rain shower head like shut up. So it's incredible and guess what? We just walked across and look what we found, our target right away. So we got some kind of like eh footage of them, but tomorrow we, will be better. Yeah, so tomorrow's goal is to go find the cotton top. Tomorrow's goal is to go find the cotton top tamarins and then uh, do so. Oh, I already saw a snake on the trail. A little, I think there's a parrot snake. I didn't see it really well. For Our film. goal for tonight is get back to Airbnb, do laundry because we, are, we don't have any clothes, order pizza, keep picking ticks off the. I just pulled a big tick off my. And we're so see. covered. We're going to shower. The water's not warm. I thought it was a hot shower. It's not It's okay. We, we can live without warm water. But anyways, I found my dream property if I had money. <laughs> so. This is my kind of warning sign. Don't go swimming because the crocs. Guess what we're doing? I'm not swimming for the crocs. All right, guys. So um, we're going back to get cleaned up food. Real quick, though. One thing you should never do in the jungle is walk barefoot. Especially in deep leaf litter where snakes live. Be one with the forest. Ow! Do you know what keeps getting me at these? Ow! It's not the snakes. The ants. You step on them, they feel like a splinter and these big uh, leaf cutter ants are getting our feet. That is the worst. Okay. Yeah, we weren't expecting to see a horse, so let's just walk past him slowly. Hey, buddy. We did good. We did good. That was scary. We have a very grumpy, hungry Tay. You got it. Going into the crock filled stream. Oh shit. Ah, oh, it looks so much lighter on the phone. It's like pitch black. We got carried away walking in the dark. It was pretty sweet. Make sure crock doesn't get you. Alright guys, it is uh 6 a.m. and we are rested and uh getting ready to start our, our day. Yeah, it's right. Look, it's all over. Yeah. Poop everywhere. It's probably that fox. We saw a fox this morning. Uh, crab eating fox. Same ones we showed you in the last video. Look at this jungle we're getting ready to walk into. Go look for more monkeys. 
snakes, whatever. You didn't help me. Who's sweepy and grumpy. Who's sleepy, grumpy, and covered in ticks. Who still has ticks all over them. <laughs> Okay, we heard howler, so we're going towards them. You're barely awake. Look at you. Hoping to see a uh, good look at cotton tops, maybe. We just like literally rolled out of bed and started walking. Do you hear that? We're getting close to some howlers. Can you get the mosquito? My hand. Okay. So, we're going the right way. Holy smokes. There they are. Oh. Howlers. So these are red howler monkeys. We've seen tons of black ones in like Costa Rica, but this is the first time seeing red ones. And wow, they are freaking gorgeous. That is a really stunning hair color. So red howler monkeys, they can get up to 20 pounds. So they're on the larger side and they can live up to 25 to even 30 years. Their tails are super strong because they use them to grip onto branches. They are mainly leaf eaters. They're actually one of the easier monkeys to find, like pretty much anywhere we go because they're so friggin' loud. So first thing in the morning, 5, 6 a.m., you'll hear them doing their <laughs> sound. And if you follow that long enough, then usually you could find them. And they do it in the evening too, like right before bed to call everyone in, like, let's go to sleep. And sadly, like a lot of animals, their numbers are decreasing due to habitat destruction. Okay, guys, so... <clears throat> We got red howlers this morning. This guy is a big true. Oh, oh, they're climbing down. They're throwing sticks at us. They're howling. They're so cute. The mosquitoes are bad. Mos mosquitoes and ticks in this jungle are really bad. We gotta find some kind of bug spray because we're pulling so many ticks off of this each day. But the monkeys have been so cool. <laughs> they're like giving a beat. The howlers right now are howling to communicate with each other probably because they're like oh what are those humans doing we should keep a keep an eye out on them but they're really not stressed out they're not leaving or anything there's tons of jungle for them to run away in and they're just eating and hanging out and yelling. So we got to try and find some bug spray at some point because this area the mosquitoes do carry a lot of stuff uh, malaria yellow fever bot flies and uh, the ticks can carry stuff too, so we gotta get some kind of spray. Probably already had malaria and yellow fever and several bot flies. Wow, we're getting eaten by bugs. This is the first trip we're getting eaten by bugs. Oh, watch out, don't hit this caterpillar. We gotta get it off of you. Yeah, look at that. Good thing you saw that. Look at those spines. Yeah, it touched us. Yeah, all right, back to the jungle, buddy. Oh my gosh, there's so many. We are, we, guys, this is like day six of battling seed ticks. They're crawling away from the elbow. This is... We finally made it through the ticks all the way to the beach. And it's incredible. Columbia has the most beautiful beaches. But unfortunately, you can't swim at the beaches because the current is so dangerous. At this beach, unfortunately, 100 people have lost their lives. But these beaches are great places to find the monkeys that we're after. So this is really exciting. You guys know I love my capuchins, even though they're little baby chimpanzees to me. So this is a rare species. This is called the Santa Marta white-fronted capuchins. They're really endemic to this area. 
and are also endangered like the cotton top tamarans due to habitat destruction. It's actually a very rare capuchin species or capuchin subspecies to see in this area. And just like other capuchins that we've seen, they can get up to 10 pounds, they live up to 50 years, and their diet consists of small animal prey like, you know, birds, rodents, even other monkeys, which is really sad, fruits, leaves, and seeds. Okay guys, uh, another delicious meal in Colombia. I think this is like their snook, the snooks that occur here. So I'm really excited. Snook, got some oil, and oh, what's this? Fried beetle as a side. I'll take it. Buenas tardes. Good evening. We are here in the jungle in Colombia. We did not find the tamarins this afternoon. I'm sorry, Rhett. He was going to film them. Brought the camera. We're all prepared. They weren't out in their tree. It's pretty typical but we're starting the evening good. We're gonna go look for some snakeys and frogs and then get some tacos. And then go back out. We're gonna try some road cruising tonight, switch things up a bit. Um, so this is the first time on a trip anywhere we've gone that we're using bug spray. But these ticks are bad. We have been <laughs> battling ticks so bad the last few days. I, my <laughs> legs are wrecked. I'm gonna show you what my legs look like. Yeah, our skin is like, we have rashes. The tick right that there. Oh my gosh, we've been picking ticks off of ourselves. <laughs> Our constantly. skin is so irritated and rashed up, and we're still picking ticks off. They're all for my backpack, so every time I take them off, they just get back on. But this place that we're at now is gorgeous, so let's start hiking. Let's see what we can find. Mm -hmm. uh, it is very, uh, very few snakes here. Yes. But we're, we're killing it on the monkeys. We're doing great. There's not so. much known on like the animals here in general, so who knows what we'll find. Right with his big catch. Woo! <laughs> Right, we are. We're finding all the reptiles. We're killing it. <laughs> are those his bugs? Babe, look at those. Show them off. Whoa. Hold on. Okay, wait. Whoa. Boy, you're packing. <laughs> it was like really cool looking. Yeah, it was right here. It's like black and yellow. I'm going to kick it to the There he is. Oh, wow. Wow. Another one! Whoa! Wow. Wait, Red, it's under you. It's under your oh. There's one right here in the open. He's on my leg. Oh my god. There's, they're everywhere. <laughs> they're everywhere. Oh my god, what do I do with myself? Whoa, he's beautiful. Whoa, guys, we just found a ton of these. Oh, here, you can stay right there. walked over the snake. I don't know. Is it a mimic? Is it a coral no, snake? Cool. Get it is? Yeah. It's because I didn't have a stick ready. We've brought our snake hooks in the room. Babe. Oh, okay. Bye. Nope. You're welcome, right? Even if you just got a glimpse of it. <laughs> wow. How fast it just disappeared. <laughs> If it was a bigger coral, it would be easier to handle. Yeah, it's tiny little. Red, will you tell everyone how sad you are that we have lost our one good snake? How do you feel? I'm like the biggest failure ever. <laughs> has anybody ever seen me like lose a venomous snake? <laughs> Red's being good because I told him he needs to be safer when we're out in the middle of the jungle with no hospitals nearby and he grabs coral snakes. I had to and we had a whole conversation about whole this. Conversation. And we brought snake hooks to be safe and she forgot them in the hotel room. And look what happens. So thank you, Rhett, for so being safe. I, if she wasn't watching me, I would have grabbed that little coral snake like, oh. and ran it out to the trail, but she doesn't let me just free handle Friday oh, no. anymore. No, I'm so, so mean. Oh, as a lifer, um, we haven't seen one of those. Oh, there's a new species of coral for us. What about it? Guys, <laughs> Rhett, wait, what is there? It, it's a pseudobar. Oh. It's a lifer for us. I just walked past another snake. Hey, you're on fire. Everything bites. Doesn't it look just like the uh, Muserana? Honestly, I thought it was a Muserana. I was like, wow, look at us. So he was probably looking for that coral snake. I know, let's bring him over so he can get the fire <laughs> for us since we can't. That's cool. Super cool. Lifer. We really did. We're on our way to a taco shop because we're like, we're not catching. And I got us a coral snake and a pseudo boa. And if you saw our recent Costa Rica video, you can see this looks just like the Muserana. But these don't grow up to be big and dark. That is so cool, Tay. You're a beast. You're a beast. Maybe we'll find some other sweet stuff tonight. Two lifers in like five minutes. Let's turn it up. 
can't let him go where he wants. They like just disappeared. That's pretty sweet. Scorpion eating a giant insect. This is like the scorpion that I was basically sitting on while trying to catch that little coral snake. That's a huge meal he caught. Yeah. He goes, owl monkeys. He's just feeding, he's not even scared. Guys, we're about to walk around these mangroves to get to where we're going. It says no swimming because crocs, but we don't normally care. But look right, right there in the center, there actually ended up being a big croc right around the mangroves. See his eyes? Where we were about to walk. So restaurant. That's pretty sweet. Look, caution. Ooh, ceviche tacos. Shrimp tacos. Happy Taylor. Dinner was really good. The tacos were delicious. Now all right, lay down. we're going back to the hotel. All right, so we're all the way through the jungle and quite a walk through some trails, but let's go. <laughs> oh, look, two crocs now, they're just waiting for us. All right, guys, so we really quick just tried to take a glimpse of video of somebody. Oh, so depressing. There's guys poaching sea turtle eggs on the beach. Uh, it's not something normally, like 99% of the time we're gonna stand up for animals. In the middle of Columbia, what in, am I gonna do? In the middle of Columbia. And we have a Next about a mile. We have about a mile this. walk back to our hotel. We don't need to be getting mixed up in that, especially because some of those people are making a lot of money sending those eggs to other countries and smuggling them. So we are just gonna he was walk. So suspicious. I shined him and tied up his pillowcase, and turned off his headlamp, and ran away. I was like, oh well, <laughs> wonder what you're doing. Well, wish us luck getting back safe. Oh my god, is the mom nearby? Probably. I saw more eye shines. No, shut him up then. Who cares? Um, I don't want to get attacked. Why is he so cute? These chunks. Look at that belly. It's like my belly. <laughs> After all the tacos? Yeah. Cool. So we saw crocs and a caiman, spectacled caiman. Same species that we have in Florida. Look at that thick tail. You could eat that. You ready? Yeah. Right back into where he was. Cool. Dead? Hold on. Let no, me, you're lying to me. I'm not lying to you. There's a dog in the box. Taylor always makes me stop for cardboard boxes. Anywhere. Anywhere. And I didn't this time. Oh to my God, I smell it. I, that was my burp. Oh. I burped. <laughs> it's not a dead dog. Hold on. So wait, I'm going to. What is it? You're so annoying. You see it? You see it? What kind of dog was it? Tay, come on. Come on. What kind of dog was it? It was a hot dog. <laughs> She's actually mad. She's not talking to me. Tay, talk to me. Good morning, everyone. We have to be quiet. As I just punched myself. <laughs> she's high, she's high. We have to be quiet because there's animals nearby. So it's our last morning here in, I almost said Costa Rica, where are we? It's our last morning here in Colombia. I love our Airbnb we're staying at. It's like, feels like home. Hey, hey, and, hey, oh, real quick, get, get the tip. I'm gonna, mm. I, we have never, we are completely <gasps> sprayed down with bug spray. I've never been somewhere more covered in ticks. Um, they, they're all over me. Just look. We got to go look for the tamarins, right? Because that's my main goal here. And we saw them the first day. Rep kind of saw them a little bit really. yesterday afternoon. They like me more though. And five minutes into the walk, we found them again. And we've just been chasing them down the jungle. It's been going on and on. We're trying to get the best footage possible. But these things just keep moving. And they're like 30 foot up these trees, 100 feet. I, I can't measure. And this is why we're here. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, we're gonna, we're, they're at a distance. We're gonna keep following, yeah. wait till they get close and click, click, click away yeah. and show you guys one of the coolest, rarest monkeys in all of South America. 
the cotton tops are really only found here in this area of Colombia. They're super endangered, super rare. Uh, they're endangered from habitat loss, people hunting and eating them over the years, and also keeping them as pets uh, here in Colombia and other places. Can't really export them anymore. But it is so cool seeing wild ones. I love them. Let's go get some footage. Let's try to film them. They're so hard to film. So seeing these guys was obviously a huge target for me. I mean, come on, they're just so beautiful. Look at them. They're little like rocker, mohawk. They're little black faces that are bald. They're so friggin' cute. And like I said, they're endemic to this area. And it's actually super sad. They're critically endangered, mostly due to habitat loss nowadays from like the palm oil farms, cattle farming, and people used to eat them. I don't think they really do that anymore. There's not much meat on them anyways, so it's really due to the habitat loss. I just feel so lucky that we got to see them because unfortunately they might not be here one day. As you can see, they're a small monkey species. They're kind of similar to the size of a gray squirrel like you'd see in your backyard. A really cute, unique fact about them is the dads take care of the babies just as much as mom. He'll carry them all day and they have twins, but they can occasionally have triplets. In the troops, there's one dominant male and one dominant female, mom and dad, and then the rest of their troop is usually like their babies. Cotton tops are super important for the environment because they distribute seeds all over. You could see them here eating the papayas, they eat flowers and they eat seeds and they eat fruits and then they poop them out or they spit them out and then that's how all the pretty little trees and shrubs grow for all the other animals. And one last thing, the little cuties can live up to 30 years in captivity, which is super cool for like such a small monkey species. We're back at the tamarind tree. Bugs are eating us up. We've been chasing these monkeys all up and down, getting that footage that we just showed you. And that was awesome. <sighs> so I really enjoyed looking for the tamarinds because they're actually just about one of my favorite primates. They're just so cute and little, especially the cotton tops and their mohawks. I think they're one of your favorite animals on the planet. Yeah, I just love seeing them. The ones in Ecuador and everything, they're so cute. Little Rita, is it Rita? Rita, yeah. Yeah, yeah little Rita. So I just yeah. love seeing tamarinds. The capuchins make me a little nervous. They're big, they're strong. The howlers <laughs> are cool, but Yet again, big and strong. Tamarinds are so cute. Cotton top tamarind was like top tier lifeless for you. You're yeah. the one that chose to come here for the tamarinds. Yeah, and so uh, I think the only thing that would be higher up for you would be like uh, a gorilla or orangutan. That is our two goals, actually. I said one. Those are two goals for me to see in the wild. There's not many of them left, so I better hurry up before they all die. Sounds like we need to go to Borneo. Yes. And uh, in Central Africa. I'm liking the idea of this. I think I think it needs to be in the future. You guys want to go to Borneo in Central Africa? I don't want to do the flight. <laughs> this is our last day in Colombia. We head out in the morning. Uh, if we get a chance tonight at our new place, if we can do any night hiking, we're going to go I'm see sure. if we can find anything. Sounds like more monkeys. Mm -hmm. All right, this is where we're going to end the Colombia series. It's been kind of interesting getting to this hotel. Our last night was bust. We got locked into where we were. We didn't have a way to get out or get in. We took a moto. Uh, we had to ride on the back of motos to get to where we were staying at the top of this mountain. Scenery was nice, but there wasn't really uh, reptiles or anything. So we got to walk a mile down this hill, carrying a cliff, carrying all of our stuff uh, because we just kind of want to get a, get to the airport. Traffic in Colombia is crazy. And uh, Tay, are you grouchy? Yeah, it's, I woke, I've never woken up at like 5 a.m. so easily. <laughs> She's ready to get back home. We got a lot of stuff to take care of some new stuff to show you when we get home. We're not gonna be traveling for a little while. He's got too much to take yeah, care of. Yeah, too much to take care of. Let's go, Rhett. I got me my little donkey.